Let's learn how to natively integrate your Cloudflare workers with PlanetScale. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison and I'm on the developer education team here at PlanetScale. Cloudflare just released their native database integration into the Cloudflare workers platform and one of the supported integrations is actually PlanetScale. So today we're going to take a look at how you can write a simple worker that will connect to your PlanetScale database using this new integration. Let's go. Before we create our Cloudflare worker and write any code, let's take a look at the database we're going to be working with. I'm in an organization named PS-DevEd, and I'm going to type in PScale DB LS to list out my databases. I have a single database named Bookings DB that we'll be working with. I'm going to shell into that database with PScale shell bookings underscore DB, and we're going to select the main branch of that database. OK, I am connected, so I'm going to show tables. We can see we have five tables. We're going to focus on the hotels table for this demo. So I'm going to type in describe and then hotels just to see what that looks like. We have four columns, an ID and a name, an address and a stars column. So this is the database we're going to be working with. I'm going to exit my shell session, clear my screen, and then let's generate a new Cloudflare worker. I'm going to type in NPX Wrangler, which is the CLI used to work with Cloudflare workers. And then I'll type in init and then the name of the worker. Let's type in P scale demo. And hit enter. OK, there's a couple options here. The first one it's asking me is if I want to use Git to manage it. I'm going to type in no because I'm not going to be committing this to a repository. I'm going to type in yes to create a package.json file. We'll not be using TypeScript. We're going to be using a fetch handler so we can test this code out with a URL. We're not going to write any tests. So I'll type in no there. And it looks like the worker was created on the left hand side. We can see there's a folder here named pscale demo. I'm going to drop this down and drop into the source folder. Let's close out the terminal here and we have a single command here named fetch which just returns hello world now if i run this and i open it in my browser i'll get a simple page that simply says hello world now i'll need to install a package the uh, planet scale serverless driver for javascript so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to cd into my pscale demo directory and then i'm going to npm install at planet scale forward slash database and hit enter Looks like the package was installed. So let's close the terminal out and go back to our folder, our file here. I'm going to get rid of the default comments that have been added for me. And let's import the connect function from the serverless driver from at planet scale forward slash database. And now we can start modifying this fetch function, which is the main entry point for our worker. So I'm going to get rid of this return new response, and we're going to start by creating the configuration required for the worker to connect to planet scale. So I'm going to create a constant named config, and that's going to contain four keys. The first one is host. And that's going to be env.databasehost, database underscore host. The second is going to be username, env database underscore username. The third one is going to be password. We need to make one more change to make the connection compatible with a worker function. We need to provide a custom fetch function here. It's going to take two parameters, URL and INIT. We're going to pass that to an arrow function. The first line here is going to be delete. We're going to pass in the init object, and then we're going to remove the cache header. And then we're going to return fetch, and then we're going to return fetch, and then pass in our URL and our init object here. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a connection to planet scale. So I'll create another cons here named connection. And that's going to be equal to connect and then we'll pass in our config. Now we can pass in a query to this object in order to pull some data back. So I'm going to create a constant called data, which will contain the response from planet scale. This is an asynchronous function, so we're going to await it. We're going to take the connection and we're going to execute the SQL query select star from hotels and then the response object is actually going to contain a field called rows which contains an array of all of the rows that have been pulled back from the planet scale database we're just going to return that back out to the caller so we're going to create a new response and return it the first parameter in this response object is the body and it expects it to be a string so we're going to say json.stringify and we're going to pass in data.rows which contains the data we're interested in the second parameter is going to have an object, and that's going to return a status code of 200. And then also we're going to modify the headers that are sent back in order to tell the browser that this is going to be JSON. So we'll pass in a headers. And the only thing we're going to pass in here is a content type, and we're going to name this application forward slash JSON. And this pretty much is the function that we're going to execute. So to recap, we're going to create a new configuration object. 
We're going to connect to the planet scale database, execute the select star from hotels query, and then pass the data back into a response object, which will send the data back to our browser once we test this. Now that the code is done, let's deploy this. I'm going to type in NPX Wrangler publish and hit enter. Okay, looks like the publish was successful as I have a published URL here as well as a deployment ID. Let's head up into the Cloudflare dashboard and set up the integration with PlanetScale. So I'm logged into the root of my Cloudflare account and on the left hand side, I'm going to select workers and then click the overview tab. Pscale demo is the worker that we just published up into Cloudflare. I'll go ahead and select that. We'll select the settings tab and then integrations. And if I scroll down, you can see there are several integrations. The one we're interested in is planet scale, obviously. So let's click add integration under the planet scale card. Now this wizard will step you through the process of connecting planet scale to your Cloudflare account. So the first thing we have to do here is accept is that we'll need to write some secrets into the worker. I'll click accept. Now we need to connect to our planet scale database. I'm going to click connect here and the modal will appear from planet scale that will have us select the organization database and branch that Cloudflare should have access to. So under organizations, I have access to several. So I'm going to select PS dev ed. Under databases, same thing. I will select the bookings DB under PS dev ed. And then under branches, I will scroll down and also select the main branch under PS dev ed bookings DB. And then finally authorize access. Now that we've successfully connected Cloudflare into planet scale, we'll have several other options we have to select from the Cloudflare side. So I'm going to select the organization of PS dev ed, which is where the database lives and click continue. I'll then select the database of bookings DB. And then you'll also be given an option to select a role for the Cloudflare worker to connect to your planet scale database. Generally, you want to provide the least privileged access here. However, I'm just going to select administrator since this is simply a demo and then I'll click continue. Under select branch, we will select main since that's the only branch I have available in this database. Click continue. And then finally, you'll get a preview of the connection details, including the host name, the username and password. Optionally, you can change the name of the secret within Cloudflare. However, these are the default values that we use for the planet scale driver. So we're just going to go ahead and leave these as is and click add integration. Typically, you would have to create these credentials yourself and populate them in environment variables. However, on the left hand side, if I click variables, as you can see, we already have a database host, password and username set up and pre configured using that integration. Now, if I select this preview link to open a new tab, you can see we're returned to some rows from the database, specifically from the hotels table. If integration and automation is your thing, you might enjoy our video where we teach you how to use the PlanetScale GitHub actions to automatically create a new database branch whenever you create a branch in your GitHub repository. For more information on how to use PlanetScale, visit PlanetScale.com and check out our blog and documentation portal where we're adding new content all the time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.